Hi everyone. In the last class, we discussed about commerce, then components of commerce, trade, auxiliaries to trade, etc. So today we are going to see the objectives of business. So these are the objectives: marketing standing, innovation, productivity, physical and financial resources, earning profits, worker performance attitude, and social responsibility. So we go, we will go in detail. First one, market standing. It means the position of an enterprise in relation to its competitors. A business must try to offer competitive product to its customers and serving them to their satisfaction. So not only selling any products, but your company or our company must satisfy the customer needs. So second one, innovation. Innovation is the introduction of new ideas or methods in doing something. Two types of innovations. One is innovation in products or services. The second one, innovation in various skills and activities needed to supply products and services. Next point, productivity. Productivity is ascertaining by com uh, comparing the value of output with the value of input. Greater productivity through the best use of available resources are necessary for the continuous survival and progress of every enterprise. Next point, physical and financial resources. Every business requires physical resources like plants, machineries, buildings, exodus and supply business requires not only physical, uh, physical resources but also financial resources. Business must aim at acquiring these resources according to their requirements and use efficiently. Next point is earning profit. One of the main objective of every business is to earn profit on the capital employed. Profit is important for the survival and growth of every business. Next point, worker performance attitude. This determines the profitability and productivity of every business. Therefore, Every business must aim at improving its workers' performance by providing better work environment, incentives, etc. Last point is social responsibility. Okay, social responsibility. It refers to the obligation of business firm to contribute resources for solving financial so social problems like work in the society and desirable manner, in a desirable manner. Like there are some problems in the society no employment so the company can provide employment to the society then should not pollute the water and air so all these are some responsibility towards a society so the next one business risk so risk is very common term so risk means uncertainty or lack of knowledge about what is going to happen in future business risk ref refers to the possibility of inadequate profit or even losses due to uncertainties or unexpected events. So, business enterprises constantly face two types of risk, speculative and pure risk. So, what is speculative risk? It involves both possibility of gain as well as the possibility of loss. Speculative risk arises due to changes in the market conditions including fluctuations in demand and supply, changes in price or changes in fashion, then changes in the taste of customers, etc. Next is pure risk. So it involves only the possibility of loss or no loss. The chance of fire, theft or strike are examples. So there, uh, these occurrence may result in loss, whereas non-occurrence may result in absence of loss, but not gain so the next point the next main heading is nature of business risk so there are some natures or features of business risk first one is it arises due to uncertainties so uncertainties means lack of knowledge about what is going to happen in future natural calamities changes in demand and prices changes in government policies prices then changes in technologies etc Next point is, it is essential part of every business. Every business has some risk. 
risk cannot be eliminated but can be minimized the amount of risk may vary from business to business next point is depends on the nature and size of business so nature of business means the types of goods and uh, goods and services produced and size of business means the volume of production or sales so nature of business and size of business are the main factors which determine the amount of risk in a business next point profit is a reward for risk taking so no risk no gain that is an old principle which applies to all types of business so greater the risk involved in a business higher the chances of profit so an entrepreneur take risk and uh, risk under the expectation of high profits okay so next is the causes of business risk let's see what are the causes of these business risk so natural causes human causes economic causes and some other causes so we'll see each one in detail first one is natural causes causes human beings have little or no no control over natural causes like flood earthquake lightning heavy rains etc next point human causes it includes unexpected events like dishonesty carelessness negligence of employees stoppage of work due to strikes etc next one economic causes it includes uncertainties related to demand for goods competitive competition price collection of dues from customers changes in technologies etc and the financial problems like high interest rate for borrowings or loans then higher taxes etc and what are the other causes like political disturbance then mechanical failures power failures fluctuations in the exchange rates etc all these are other causes now comes to starting a business so if you want to start a business what are what is the plan or what are the basic factors to start a business so these are some points which will help you to start a business or basic factors which you have to consider when you start a business first one selection of line business so the first step to be decided by the entrepreneur is the nature and type of business to be undertaken that the decision may be influenced by the customer requirements in the market then the type of technical knowledge and interest of the entrepreneur has for producing particular product etc next point is size of the firm it means the scale of production or operation which is an important factor to start a business if the market conditions are uncertain and risk are high a small size business would be better choice okay so when the con market conditions are uncertain and the risk is high so better you go for a small scale business next point choice of choice of form of ownership so business organization may takes sole proprietorship partnership or joint stock company the choice of suitable form of ownership will depend on the factors like capital requirement liability of owners division of profit continuity of business etc then location of enterprise it is very important to decide where the enterprise will be located that is availability of raw materials and labor power supply banking uh, banking then transportation communication warehousing etc are important factors for choosing a location next point financial uh, financing the position capital is required for investment in fixed assets like land building machinery etc and in current, current assets like raw materials stock of finished goods etc so finance is also required to meet day to day expenses next point is plant layout the entrepreneur must draw a layout plan showing the arrangement of the facilities layout means the physical arrangements of machines equipments needed etc next is tax planning tax laws influence almost every aspect of functioning of modern business the entrepreneur has to consider in advance the tax liability under various tax laws and 
its impacts on business business decisions the last point is launching the business so this includes mobilization of various resources completing necessary legal formality formalities promotion etc okay hope you understood this class thank you